This is the face of a man who has just seen all of the Elden Ring DLC leaks. On a serious note though, these leaks are absolutely crazy. If you're someone who wants to experience the DLC firsthand for yourself, I advise you to click away now. Consider this your warning that there are MAJOR SPOILERS AHEAD. At first, I wasn't sure if I should use the real pictures and videos that I found in this leak. I did a lot of going back and forth with this problem, because I simply don't want anything happening to my channel. But after some back and forth, I decided to give in and show you exactly what I found in this leak. Is what I originally said, until I saw this guy's channel go from this to this for posting one of the leaked videos. So, that being said, I'm just gonna play Elden Ring DLC gameplay in the background and commentate over that instead. Alright, so the first part I'm gonna be showing you guys is the leaked remembrances. So as you can see, these look pretty legit, pretty much exactly like you see in the base game of Elden Ring. Um, they're almost one-to-one -one with what you'll see. I'm taking them at face value, they look pretty believable. But let's go into what each one is and some speculation there. So we have in the top left, the Divine Beast, which we've seen in trailers before. That's not really a leak, we know what he looks like, so that's very possible. The second one to the top might be Renala's sister, we've heard. For the third one, I'm kind of uncertain, we've never seen that before. Looks like a really sick boss though, so I'm pretty excited for that one. The fourth one is kind of hard for me to make out. I read online that someone thinks it might be Radon's Night Boar fight that we saw in one of the trailers there. I can't really make out what that is though, personally. The next one's also kind of hard to see. Somebody thought it was like a giant sunflower, but that doesn't really make any sense. Um, it could be maybe the mother of the fingers that we see all over the Elden Ring. It's speculated that the first one in the bottom left corner is the Rot God, or Melania's teacher. That'd be a very interesting theory. Next, we have what some users are called the Leaked Chaos God. After that, we have Messimer the Impaler, which is on the cover art of the Shadow of the Urtree DLC. And finally, you see the final boss of the DLC. But you're gonna have to stay tuned till the end to find out who that is absolutely insane start to these leaks just crazy crazy start right off the bat next we're going to be looking at some leaked gameplay so let's get right into this i'll show you guys what it looks like um these videos are kind of low quality though i will mention that so don't expect really high quality it's kind of hard to make out what some of the names are looks like this one says black knight edward or, or like edrid i'm not really sure what that word is but you can probably tell this is why some people think that the leaks might be fake because it's just super low quality videos yeah it's kind of funny our the character here has uh the divine beast head on which is pretty cool uh you saw some of that new magic some of those new magic flames he just got a an ash of war that i don't believe is anywhere in the base game i think if these leaks are fake they are really really well done like insanely well done all right let's take a look at this second gameplay trailer right off the bat you see some of that really sick fire magic like i was talking about last time that's super dope uh, i'm probably gonna try using some of that into my build we're just seeing more spells as we go along and it's obviously the same guy because he's got the uh divine beast helmet on once again all right and this guy's just bouncing around all over the place it's almost like a like a minotaur i think yeah, this Minotaur guy, he's like a mini boss, I guess. Not good enough for the entire health bar, but he does have a lot of damage. And our main character just fell right off the cliff. The You Died classic. So that is the second gameplay trailer. Next, we have some more images. You have this beautiful image here of Mikola and Radon standing right in front of one another. It's a great image. I was debating making it the thumbnail of this video, but I feel like that'll just be a giant red flag. A giant red flag for FromSoft to just target my video and take it down, so I'm probably not going to do that. I'm, I'm not sure though. Next, we have another side-by-side, -side, except Radon and Mikola. Mikola's kind of on the shoulder of Radon here, so that's pretty wholesome. And now we have another image of Radon, except he's alone this time. And we also have these pillars here which we saw in the Elden Ring DLC trailer that dropped. 
And last but not least, we have this image of an absolute beast warrior Radon in his prime. He looks absolutely so sick, just ready to fight. So it's screenshots like this that make me believe that the leak is real because these look pretty much one-to-one -one with what we saw in the DLC trailer that officially dropped from the company. So this and some other things that you'll see later in the video kind of led me to believe that these leaks are real. But once again, form your own opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And now on to the next. For the moment you've all been waiting for. So there was a little bit of foreshadowing in the beginning of this video. I showed you one of the last remembrances that I said was Radon and Mikola. And now we have the final boss here. And if you can make out who this guy is in the background, I'll just let the video play and let it speak for itself. So really short clip there, only a four second clip. But if you can tell by his swords, by his movements, we have Radon back in action, which is super dope. So excited for that. Um, this is pre Scarlet Rot Radon. This is prime Radon. No horse, nothing like that. It's just prime soldier Radon. So that's super dope that we have that coming back to Elden Ring. Um, have him coming back. And that kind of clears up some of the confusion that I personally had and I know many others had as to why we had to kill specifically Radon and Moog to get access to the DLC. Killing Moog was pretty obvious because he had Mikola's um, cocoon. And that is apparently like the way that we transport to the DLC or something like that. I'm not really sure exactly, but that's that's what people are saying. And I had a bunch of questions like, why do we have to kill Radon specifically? Like, why not Renala? And why not like, you know, Melania and stuff like that. And I think this finally clears it up. Why we have to kill Radon to get access to the Elden Ring? Because this is pre- Scarlet Rot Radon. This is just OG Radon. This is in his prime. It just makes so much sense now that we see this video. I want to apologize again for not being able to show any leaked gameplay. I legitimately had this entire video played out to where I was going to show you guys gameplay, but then I refreshed this guy's channel that also had a leaked video and the whole thing got taken down. He got copyright struck, so my apologies, but it's just not worth the risk. I personally believe these leaks a lot. If you are a doubter, I encourage you to save this video, come back to it in three days when the DLC comes out, and see if my predictions were correct, because I'm pretty convinced I'd be surprised if this wasn't the case. However, on the slim chance that something does happen, take it as a message that these leaks are real, okay? That's what I'm telling you before I sign off. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.